Hi, I'm Jim from Harry Ordnance Depot and I'm back again. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the ever popular AR-15. More specifically, we're going to talk about their magazines. I'm going to take these uh, and get the firearms out of the way. The AR-15 pretty much started out with a magazine like this, a 20 round box magazine, uh, and had a metal follower, uh, aluminum floor plate, uh, then became upgraded, something like this. Uh, first thing, you, the earlier 30 round magazines had a, a black plastic follower, uh, and that black plastic follower looked like that. Eventually, uh, these were found to be deficient and upgraded to a follower like this. Uh, notice that the, the difference in the follower is that the, the front of the follower has a little more purchase area. And this was supposed to prevent a tilting problem that was happening with these black plastic followers. Uh, these were also supposed to be in uh, a little slicker plastic uh, uh, to add to like a dry loop. And so you get your green follower, your black follower, and then along comes Magpul. And Magpul comes out with their series of improvements until you have now this green follower. And the nice thing about the follower I'll demonstrate here is that if you depress on the front of the follower, you see how these automatically do like a nose dive. Even the anti tilt green followers nose dive pretty good, and that can cause a jam. The Magpul followers that upgrade the GI magazine. They just go straight down. And so they call it a self-leveling follower. It's a very good follower. Now this is in a, intended to be a, a plug for Magpul. Now they are, they are a good product. We carry them at Erie Ordnance Depot. Uh, and they're a good way to upgrade an old magazine. You can also buy the C Products magazine, which have a very similar follower. Uh, these are a black Teflon coated aluminum magazine uh, and their follower is an anti-jam self-leveling type follower. Very, very similar to the Magpul follower, but technically not a Magpul follower. Uh, there's also the uh, Kamenga Easy Mag. It opens like this for easy loading. Um, it still can use a stripper guide if you want to load with a stripper like that. Uh, but that kind of defeats the purpose. You can drop the cartridges in and when it gets to the final spot here, springs release. This is built in uh, Holland, Michigan. They're made, uh, uh, I would say, in near the quality of an HK high reliability magazine for a lot less. Uh, they seem to be very well made. Uh, this one's made it to the range and it's been handled in the shop here quite a bit by about everybody that's come through here. Um, and it's, uh, it's holding up well. It's finished just as nice as the ones that are new in box. So uh, Then there's the Lancer Translucent Magazine. It's a nice mag. It's got a, a bump pad for dropping. Uh, it uses the GI style anti-tilt follower. It's translucent so you can see your loaded rounds in it. Um, it also accepts the Stripper guide. 
to feed with the stripper and has steel feed lips. And I'm certain everybody is familiar with the Magpul, the Magpul P-Mag, very popular sought after magazine because of its strength and durability. Um, we've actually taken one of these and run it over with a, a F-450 ambulance and that was an interesting exercise. It survived, it uh, functioned uh, and fed in a uh, full auto M16 as well as uh, AR-15s. Uh, and it also feeds like any other conventional AR magazine. It uses a stripper guide. Uh, or uh, it'll also accept the mag Lulas, the AR-15 Lulas. And the next magazine, the final magazine we have is the the newest polymer magazine. It's a Tango Down magazine. Uh, I guess uh, there's very little known about these at the moment. Uh, they're relatively new on the market. They seem to be well made. Um, the follower is a self-leveling type follower. It goes up and down just fine. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, serrations on the front and the back to help it aid in grasping. Uh, and it comes in several colors like the uh, Magpul that comes in several colors. They're a little, uh, a little more expensive magazine but they're available in the, in the market being what it is right now. Uh, that's something to be said I guess. Um, that's really all I have for you today. Uh, these are a lot of good options for magazines. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, write me at uh, jw at .com and I'll try to answer your questions. Thanks.